Hi, and welcome to my channel, Every Day with Jackie. If this is your first time here, I hope you'll stay. And if you're returning, it's good to see you as always. So this is my second time filming this intro. As I was getting ready to edit this video, I noticed that my lashes were hanging off. They looked horrible. So you'll probably see that towards the end of the video. Just go ahead and ignore that. I went ahead and ripped them off and put some mascara on. And so we're back again. So this video is all about the Viseart Dark Edit Palette. I had a few requests to create a look using this palette. So I did want to honor those requests. Again, this is what the palette looks like on the inside. And it does come with a mirror. And towards the end of the video, you will see some swatches. So if you want to see how I created this look, minus the lashes, then you'll have to keep watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to jump in. Um, it's been a struggle trying to get this video up. As many of you already know or may not know, I do record on my phone and I've had to reset my phone back to factory settings maybe five or six times now because it keeps saying out of storage, you know, um, phone is full and it's just been a struggle because I don't know how that could be when I don't have anything on my phone. Anyways, I'm going to try to do this video. I tried to do it on Wednesday, but then I had so many problems with the memory and the space, so I couldn't, I couldn't do it. So now that I've restored it again to factory settings, hopefully I can get this done and up. So, so far I've gone in with my matte paint pot and painterly and I just set my um, eye primer with this banana powder by Ofra Cosmetics. And we'll just go ahead and jump in. Today I am using one of the products in my Shop My Stash. This is the Visart Dark Edit Palette. And I'm going to back up because that's one of the problems that's using up a lot of my storage just because the files are so large from it being so close up, I think. So I'll come back in, you know, as I start doing the eye look. But um, I have shown you guys this palette when I hauled it uh, from Sephora. So it does come with the mirror. And this is what the palette looks like. And this is not a first impression because I have been using it in my shop, my stash. And at the end of the video, I will have swatches of the palette. So make sure you stay to the very end so you can see the swatches as well. Okay, so um, also another thing about this palette is that the shades pop out. So um, I'm going to pop one of them out. So I don't... They pop out, so um, I guess you can arrange it in the order that you want it. So this shade popped out from right here. So you can kind of arrange it how you want. Um, I, and this, these are, they pop right back in because they're magnetized. Um, so I guess you can arrange them the way you want, or I think some of the other um, Viseart palettes have pop-out shades, and so maybe you can, you know, take some from one palette and put them in another palette and create your perfect palette, especially if you're traveling somewhere, you may want to have certain shades. So it would can be, it would be convenient in that aspect as well. So now that I've said all of that, um, let's go ahead and try to get started real quick with the eye look before I'm out of space. So the first shade that I want to go in with is this orange shade right here. And I am going to be using my BH Cosmetics uh, 05 brush. And let's just go ahead and hop right on in. Okay. 
I love using this shade. It's so pretty. I'm going to I hope you guys can see. Like I said, I don't have much light. But we're going to go in with this pretty brown shade, right? Yeah, right here. And I'm going to pick up my other BH Cosmetics brush. And this is the um, six brush. It just says number six. And then I'm going to focus that this shade more so in the crease and a little above. I think it was Laura who said, can you do a look with the edit palette? But we don't want to see our neutral look. <laughs> oh, Laura. Girl, if you only knew. <laughs> I am truly trying to go out of my box for you today, Laura. Okay, so I've gotten that brown kind of in the crease. And now I am going to go in with this navy blue shade that is just gorgeous. At first I thought it was a black, not looking closely at it, but it is a navy. And I'm going to just go in and kind of map this out up above. Okay, I'm going to leave that for now. And now I'm going to go in with this beautiful kind of, what is it? Kind of purple fuchsia eggplant, something or another. Beautiful shade is what we're going to call it. And I'm going to go in, pick up a little. Oh, now I'm going to use my um BH Studio Pro brush in the number seven. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some product on my brush. Now, one thing I have noticed about this shade that it's a little dry. So I am going to probably end up wetting the brush. Such a pretty shade though. Let's see if I have to wet it. Okay, so next I want to go in with this pinky shade right here. And I'm just gonna go in with my finger. And I'm just gonna dab it on the center.
I don't know where my little brush cleaner is. You know the little quick switch with the little pad in there? You just scroll your brush across. I don't know where that is. So I'm going to go back in with this pretty color right here. And I think this is where we are going to leave this eye. And then I'll be right back to you with the um, other eye completed. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is where we're going to leave the eyes for now going to do is use our for Solly. Yes ma'am, we're doing it. Today is the day. And we're going to use the Rose Gold Elixir. I've already opened it because like I said, I tried to film the video on Wednesday and it just didn't happen. So it is already open and I got to tell you, loving it. Really do. We're going to use this in conjunction with our I Am Magic by Dubious Place. And the reason I chose to use um, this Rose Gold Elixir is because it said on the box or the thing that it was 24 karat gold infused beauty oil. And I don't know where the little packaging is. Hold on, let me see if I can find the, the rest of the package. Hold on just a sec. So again, this is what the Frasali looks like. And so I still have to use the Unicorn Essence and the Skin, the skin Tune Blur. But the reason I chose the rose gold is because it says it is a 24 karat gold infused dry oil that adds hydration when used along or mixed in with makeup. So because this Juvia's Face, uh, Juvia's Face, Juvia's Place Foundation is very matte and dry on my skin, um, it's just a little too much for me. And I also saw that, and you won't be able to see on camera, but it has little carrot, little uh, gold flex, flex in it. So it says it is a rose gold elixir, 24 karat gold infused, and it does have little gold flex in the oil. But again, I really liked it. And I think this is exactly what I need for the Juvia's, Juvia's face, um, Juvia's place foundation. Oh, and you talk about, I know some of you don't like uh, fragrances in your skin products. Oh, but this smells so good. It smells so good. So I'm going in with this. And because... Um, it's Saturday. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to really go in with a primer. But um, again, in this I Am Magic by Juvia's Place, this is the shade Burkina. And again, I'm going in with just this much. And this may be too much. But um, yeah, I think I put too much. So you'll be able to probably see the little mask. And I'm just going in with my Real Technique sponge. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to now go in with my Laura Mercier, the Flawless Fusion Concealer. This is by Laura Mercier. And you guys know I just do a little concealing right there. I have um, already gotten my calendar filled out, guys, with the videos that I want to film in the next com in the next few weeks. So I'm starting to try to plan. I don't have my vision board up yet, Julia, <laughs> but I am going to start planning out some things. I thought that such that was such a good idea. It's hard. I tried to do it before, but it was so hard because, you know, new stuff comes out. People want to see that. So you bump one video down in order to get the latest and greatest one up. So, um, did I bring my other brushes, my face brushes? I did not. Be right back. So as I was saying, it's hard to stay on a schedule because then something else comes out and you feel like you need to get a video up first on that. And a powder. And just set my under eyes. I don't think it's going to rain, but that wind is whipping outside. It's not too cold, though. I think it was 50-something. Okay, I have that set. Now I'm going to go in and do a little bronzing. And I'm going to pull out my Benefit bronzer and toasted my hula benefit and i don't ever well i don't really use this brush i did try it when i first got it but i don't really use it so i don't know what brush this is nor where i got it i'm sure i got it from a beauty box try not to get my edges full of makeup these days and then we'll go in with our contour palette by pure pure cosmetics I'm going in with the shade right here. What's left of it? Again, trying to protect these edges. And now I'm going to go in with some blush. By I'm using my Color Rain Times Power. And this is called My Day One. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, you know, it's so funny. Whenever I film a video where I have to do an eye look, <laughs> my legs just tap underneath the table. <laughs> I get so nervous. I really do. I got to get out of that because if I have a good eye look or if it's a failure, I mean, that's the only way you get better, right? 
and I'm using the highlighter from the same palette. I'm just going to go down my nose a little bit. And I have the nerve to try to highlight my cupid's bow and I need to shave this mustache. That is on the agenda for today. It looks horrible. Okay. So now that our base is done. I am... Um, going to go back into the palette, the Viseart palette, and I'm going to do my lower lash line, my favorite brush, and this is by Morphe. It's the E36 brush, and I like using this brush when I do my under eyes. So I'm going to go in again with this fuchsia color right here, or that's what I call it, purple, I don't know. This blue and I'm gonna put that right up against my lash line and let me I'm gonna try to bring you guys back in I'm going to try to put some lashes on. <laughs> Linda, I did watch your video. Girl, I'm going to try. I don't know how successful or not we will be. But I'm going to try again. I haven't tried to put lashes on in a hot minute now. I'm just going in again with that purple. Okay. And this is all that we're going to do in this palette. I was contemplating not even doing an inner corner highlight because what I want to use is not in my shop, my stash. But I know it would look good, but I'm not going to use it. Because I'm sticking to the plan, sticking to the plan. So I think I might just go in with the little highlight from my base palette. I'm not even going to use that much. I can see the dry skin on my little. I, I'm treating it though. Hopefully we can get that together. Okay. So next we are going to, um, did you, you guys notice I didn't put any face powder or set my face? I don't want to. I like the glow. And like I said, it's so matte that I don't want to add any powder. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is hop off camera and do my eyebrows. And then I'll be right back, okay? One sec. Okay, so we are back. We have completed our eye look. I have my lashes on. Barely. 
and um, we've done our bottom lash line. We have our eyebrows on. So what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and let's finish up this look. I'm going to put on some lipstick and then I'm going to um, spruce up my hair, change my clothes, and then we'll be coming back with the completed look. For my eye look, I mean for my lip look, I'm going in with my Ellery lip liner and this is by ColourPop let me show it to you let me clean it off because these are the messiest lip liners so this is what it looks like and again this is in the shade Ellery And then we're going to go in with one of my favorite lip colors by Milani. And it is called The Ultimate. And it's number 15. That's what it says. Yeah. So I know you can't see that. Ugh, smells so good. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on on my chap lips that need exfoliating. Okay, so we have our lips on. I'm gonna spray my face. And again, this is with my Morphe spray. So we're spraying our face, and now we're gonna go ahead and hop back off camera so I can fix my hair and um, put some clothes on, and we'll be back with the final look. One moment. Okay, so we are back, and this is the final look. Again, today's palette, uh, we featured the Vizart palette, and this is the Dark Edit. And the shades that I went in with today is this orange one, this deep brown, this kind of fuchsia or plum color, and also this pink color. And don't forget, I will have swatches at the end of the video. Um, I do like this palette. I found that everything blended out super easy. Um, I really didn't have any fallout, as you could see on my face. I didn't have to go in and clean up anything. Even when I did my lower lash line, uh, the shades are very pigmented. I thought um, I was going to have to spray my brush for... Um, this shade right here because I have used this shade before in a few other looks that I didn't do on camera and I just felt that it was really dry and kind of didn't have a punch but today I didn't have any problems with it and I did use a different brush today so maybe that was part of my problem again if you have not picked up this palette I definitely would get my hands on it it's a beautiful palette and again as I mentioned the shades do pop out so you can mix the shades with another uh, busy art palette um, that has the removable shades this is um, magnetized so the palette the shades pop out and they go back in really easily so again i picked this up from sephora and um i think it was maybe thirty dollars and i know um they also have it on beautylish as well so if you've been pondering if you wanted to pick this palette up or not I would say get your hands on it. Um, again, I like using this this palette. I didn't have any problems. The shades split out very easily. No fallout. I did have a little kick up in the pan, but it wasn't anything major. Nothing to even fuss about. I didn't even mention it as I was doing my eyeshadow look because it was just not a significant amount. So I have no complaints about this palette whatsoever. Um, again, the Juvia's Face 
uh, the Juvia's Place Foundation. Um, I didn't really have any problems with that today. As you can see, it does look good on the skin today. Um, I did, however, love mixing it with this uh, Frasali Rose Gold Elixir. And I really like this. This is the first time that I have, well, I tried to use it on Wednesday when I was trying to create the look, but this is um, something that I definitely will consider purchasing because I really like this. I do want to try the other two that I didn't use today, but so far this one, I still have like a little luminous uh, glow on my face and I do like that, especially when pairing it with the Juvia's Place foundation. And in this video, I don't know if it had anything to do with this um, Rose Gold by Frasali or maybe the fact that I didn't go in with a powder on my face, but today it doesn't look like I have a mask on my face. It doesn't even look like this isn't a good shade match for me. So I don't know. I just think everything worked out really well today for the eye look. Uh, not so much for the camera, but for the eye look, definitely. I have no complaints. Um, I will bring you in a little closer. Don't look at the eyelash because you know. I am very happy with the eye look. Laura, I hope you were pleased as well. Hope this isn't a neutral look. It's a pop of color. That's, just, that's just about as uh, bold as I can go, Laura. <laughs> so I hope everyone did enjoy the video. Um, leave me a comment down below if you're thinking about picking up the palette or um, if you have any questions about anything that I used in this face look today. Let me also go in and mention I did um, my I know Rachel asked me about this in another one of my videos but I didn't have lashes on but I did use the Wander Beauty Mal High Club volume and length mascara and she made mention of my lashes uh, in the natural hair video that I did because this had my lashes singing they look so good in that video I am really enjoying this mascara and it does have like the little skinny wand, but I really don't mind it, especially on my on my lower lashes. And this too is a Wonder Beauty mascara. Um, I got this in my boxy charm. Now the di difference with this is that it has the curve wand, and it does add a little lift and cur curl to to your lashes. And even though my lashes are tiny. I actually like this one as well. So these are two mascaras that I would consider if um, I were you because these both get a thumbs up from me. I love them. Um, as usual, I went in with my Rimmel Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Brown Black. Right here. I put tape on it because the lid keeps coming off. But this is the... Um, eyebrow pencil I use for my eyebrows and then I just went in with my Maybelline eyeliner and it's so tiny it's falling off in my purse here it is just went in I do have a bigger one but I keep finding these little bitty pencils and I want to use them up and get rid of them so I did use this on my lower lash line and I think that's all that I did off camera. I think everything else you guys saw. So um, again, I used the Ellery lip pencil and then my Milani um, liquid lipstick. And this again is in the shade 15, the ultimate. It's kind of like a metallic lipstick. So again, this is the final look, you guys. Thank you so, so much for tuning into the video today. It has been a struggle trying to get this up since Wednesday, but I do thank you for hanging in there with me. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you here. And also, please ring the notification bell so you're aware each and every time that I upload a video. With that said, thank you again for watching. And remember, you're always welcomed and wanted here on my channel. Thanks, you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Hang tight for the swatches. Bye.